Hey guys, it's Nick from PC Hacker 11 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool paint splatter effect wallpaper in Adobe Photoshop. This will work in Adobe Photoshop, either CS3 or CS4 or any other version. Basically, I'm not sure if it'll work on any other versions, but I know it'll work on CS4, which is what I'll be using. And so, I'm going to show you how to get this cool paint splatter wallpaper or paint splatter effect in Adobe Photoshop, like the wallpaper I have here. So you're going to need a couple things for this. You're going to need, first of all, some brushes that will allow you to have this paint splatter effect. I found two sets of brushes here. So I have this set of brush, which looks like it'll make paint drip down from your text. And then we have this brush, which basically splats paint all around. And so in addition to the brushes, if you want to add text, you might want some text that matches this paint splatter effect, like the font that I'm using now with the PC Acura 11 there. That font is called I Want My TTR. You can download it here. I'll post the link to all these brushes and the font in the description. And so anyway, um, now I'm going to show you how to make this paint splatter wallpaper or paint splatter effect in Photoshop. Now, first of all, you're going to have to install your fonts. Now, I know I've said how to install fonts in some of my previous videos, but I'm going to show you again. So here I have a folder here that says I want my TTR, which is my font. So I'm just going to go down here to start, computer, local disk, windows, and then fonts. Now what you want to do is open up your folder with your fonts in it, select all your fonts, and drag them into this fonts folder. Then if something pops up, just click continue or OK, and then you have your fonts installed. So with that, now we're going to go and open up Photoshop and get things started. So I'm going to go up here to file, create a new document. I'm going to call it paint paint splat. I'm going to set the width and the height to my screen dimensions and then keep everything the way it is right here. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to go up to here to edit, fill, just fill it in black. And then down here I'm going to change the color to red. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab my brush tool. Now here I have my paint splatter brushes selected. But if you don't have the paint splatter brushes in your brush menu here. Just go up to this little arrow here, click on load brushes, find wherever you saved the brushes to, then just click um and th just click on them and then they should be added into the bottom portion of your brushes menu. So now I'm gonna go and select this brush and get to splattering some paint around. So I'm gonna splatter that there. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to this sort of purplish color and I'm gonna splat that up there. Now I'm going to go down here and change the color to this sort of purplish bluish. So just take that and splat that there. But I'm going to undo that so I can put it over here. Now I'm going to go and change the color to a dark blue. And I'm going to grab this brush. Oh wait, no. Grab the brush next to it and spray that there. Now I'm going to go and grab another color. Uh, a lighter blue and I'm gonna splat that down there maybe put a couple around here and now I'm gonna go change it to sort of a light green and I'm just gonna grab this one splat some green around and now I'm gonna go down here change it to sort of a darker green and maybe just put some splats around here, splat some more over there, and now I'm going to go down here and s make it sort of yellowish, and I'm just going to, where's that one brush? I just grabbed this one which splats it basically everywhere, so that's good. And now I'm going to go down here, change it to orange, and I'm going to select this one and just create some orange streaks. Orange. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up putting in another blue one. Uh, I'm going to just make this one blue in the center because I want to. And so then we have our paint splatter effect. So you can just splatter the paint on there any way you want to. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and create a new layer. And I'm going to select my text tool. And I want my text to be red. 
And I'm going to click and drag and type my text in. So PC Hacker 11. And now I'm going to drag it in sort of the center here. But as you notice, it kind of blends in with the background. But on mine here, mine kind of like pops out. You can see the text. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, if you want your, I, I forgot to mention this, if you want your font selected, just go up here and search for I want my TDR. So, uh, sorry about that. So, anyway, uh, back into the options. How do you want this text to s stick out? We just want to go over here into our layers menu, find the layer that has our text on it, right click it, and go up to blending options. Then we want to check mark drop shadow, we want to check mark inner shadow, check mark outer glow, and check mark inner glow. And now we want to go all the way down here to stroke and change the color of the stroke to white. Then click OK and then our text our text sticks out out of this paint splatter background. So that is how you make the paint splatter effect in Photoshop. So now I'm going to go up here to file, save as, I think I'll save it as a JPEG. Click save. OK. And now we have it here on our desktop. So I'm going to right click it set it as my desktop background and it looks like that so anyway that is how you make the paint splatter effect in Photoshop I'll, I'll post a link to this brush this brush and this font in the description so you can customize this however you want to you don't have to do it exactly like me and so basically this is how you make your paint splatter effect or paint splatter wallpaper in Adobe Photoshop so anyway thanks a lot for watching guys this has been a quick video from PC Hacker 11 so thanks for watching again and I'll see you later